What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today, guys, what we're going to be doing is opening up some of these frozen packs that are in the game. Now, yesterday, I actually did do a pack opening video, but unfortunately, the video, for some reason, got completely messed up. I'm hoping that it doesn't get screwed up today, but we are going to open up the remainder of the ones that I can open up with coins. I unfortunately didn't really get anything great. I'll quick show you guys what I got. Uh, if you're interested, I'm not going to run through everything, but... But I didn't get anything spectacular. I got zero elite items um, other than, of course, the... Uh, okay, let's let's go back here to newest. There we go. Um, I got the two, the two gifts, basically, um, because I, I actually had a couple saved. So I was able to uh, actually get two gifts. But um, I got this one here, which is the green one... Or the, the white gift with the gold bow on it, which has Team of the Week in the bottom corner of it. So I don't know. That could be something decent, especially if it's an elite Team of the Week. Uh, and then I also got this one here, which is pink and it has some flowers on it i have no idea what it is if, if somebody might have an idea leave it in the comment section below um i'm kind of thinking it might have something to do with the pro bowl because of the flowers and hawaii delays and things like that i have no idea but that was just a, a random guess of mine so hopefully it's something decent though we'll end up finding out on the 16th both of those items do open on the 16th so let's hop in here now and take a look at we, what we get in these frozen packs um 31, coins if you guys are unaware oh i also want wanted to show you in case you didn't see Steve Smith and Night Train Lane were added to the game these are both legend items pretty solid items of course Night Train Lane one of the best cornerbacks he's big he's fast he's has amazing hit power for a cornerback so he is certainly one of the most sought after players right now in the game then of course you've got Steve Smith there which is an absolute beast as well so let's hop in here and take a look at the frozen packs 31,500 coins and we're gonna rip them open guys here we go all right, first thing that we get is a gold batch, so that's pretty nice, not too shabby. Jimmy Ward, Brandon Browning. Okay, we get a Harry Douglas team of the week. Brown, bronze, a silver, and then there's our Ice Bowl. Ooh, Zach Martin, Rising Star. That's actually a pretty beast item. When you add it to the other one, that they make a very good guard. So I might end up actually keeping that because I do need an upgrade at guard. So that's actually a pretty solid uh, up, upgrade for me. Trevor Robinson is a gold. Uh, so nothing hugely spectacular out of here. I don't think Harry Douglas is worth much. Uh, the gold badge is probably the best thing that we got here. Rising Star Zach Martin's solid, but certainly not worth 35,000 coins. Let me know, guys. Are you getting anything decent out of these frozen packs? I've seen some people pulling amazing stuff and other people just getting crapped on. So let me know in the comment section below what, what are you guys getting as far as that goes. Michael Huff, David Mulk, Mohamed Sanu, Jelani Jenkins is our team of the week. Bronze badge, Brandon LaFell. He actually scored a touchdown today. The game, uh, the going ahead touchdown for the Patriots early the, earlier this afternoon. Um, I actually have Brandon LaFell in a playoff fantasy league, so I was pretty stoked about that. Get our ice bowl. We will add that to the set. And bronze badge and another bronze badge. So not much out of this one here. Mohamed Sanu, I did actually pull another one of those. So I could potentially decide to make a rising star Mohamed Sanu. Uh, I might do that because I actually am in more of a need for wide receivers than you might think. I have a couple of good ones and then I just kind of have crap after that. So I would certainly like to have a nice little uh, bench wide receiver at least. So Mohamed Sanu would kind of fit that bill as somebody being decent but not really super expensive. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, team of the week, unfortunately there. Jason McCourty, our Ice Bowl. We'll add that to the set as well. Um, so I guess I'm probably going to get five of those, I, I assume. So I should be able to actually pull one more um, uh, one more actual pack here for the uh, the gift. So hopefully we get something out of that. Derek Carr is our rising star. That, that Derek Carr, the upgraded one, is nasty. It really is. I think London uses that as his starting QB. And the reason for it is because he has great speed. He gets an upgrade on speed in the elite item that you make. And he's a solid, solid player because uh, 83 overall speed to begin with. I forget what it goes up to, but I know it's like 86 or something ridiculous like that for Derek Carr. So uh, that's pretty solid, actually. All right. So we've got, what, two more now, I think, that we can open up. So, so far, just really nothing spectacular out of these packs so far, to be completely honest. But hopefully we get something here. Here we go. Ryan Jansen, our Ice Bowl. Add that to the set. Bronze Badge, Ladarius Green, eh. Okay, Jeremy Macklin, Team of the Week's pretty solid. Um, two gold badges, okay, now we're talking. Hook me up with a couple of gold badges, I will definitely take that. David Amerson, eh, he, gets, he becomes okay, I guess, but 
Um, I already have a David Amerson Rising Star, so I'm not too excited about that. I don't think he's worth very much either. So the best thing out of this, certainly the gold badges. Uh, Jeremy Macklin's actually decent as well, so I'm happy to get that. But so far, not a whole lot here, guys. We don't. We haven't pulled one Elite in these entire uh, Frost Packs, so this is a lot that I've spent on these things at this point. Hopefully, I'm able to get something here. because This will be, what, 310,000 coins that I've spent, roughly? Um, 315,000, I think, actually. So, uh, not a very good amount of uh, pulls for given what I've gotten. I did also get a Kenny Vaccaro in my previous pack opening, the one that you guys aren't going to see on the channel. So, uh, we'll probably end up making the Kenny Vaccaro free safety item because he's actually pretty decent. He has uh, 87 speed to begin with, so he does get a little boost there, I believe. So, that'll make him at least usable. Bronze badge, bronze badge, our ice bowl collectible. Throw that in the set, and that should give us uh, a new award. Yes, it did. Okay, and Parrish Cox for a cornerback. I don't think he's usable, if I remember correctly. Ah, 92 speed. Uh, he's okay with 92 speed because I'm pretty sure he has decent man coverage and zone coverage, both of them, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 91 man and 93 zone. So he's he's all right, but really nothing spectacular. Zach Sudfeld and then a silver badge for our final item. So unfortunately, not a whole lot to be pulled here, uh, but we do have this gift pack, so let's see what we get in it. Hopefully it's something new. And it is, it's something new. Um, what is this one? I have no idea. Red bow, or red uh, wrapping paper, white bow. Is there something on it that I'm missing? And, and let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any idea what these gifts are because I'm interested in knowing. I really have no idea what these are. So let's take a closer look at it here. Is there like a flashback or anything like that on it? I don't know. There's something. There's some sort of weird thing on the right-hand side of it there. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know if it's just the lighting or, or what, but yeah, I'm not seeing anything that stands out to me as far as what it could be. I could be completely missing it, though, because the resolution on my uh, TV that I have over here isn't that spectacular. So uh, not really much out of this pack opening, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. Let me know, too. I want to hear what you guys have to say as far as the games that are going to be happening. Obviously, we saw the Patriots get the first win this weekend. Uh, who's going to win between the Seahawks? and the Panthers. Who's going to win between the Cowboys? My Cowboys. I got an Emmett Smith throwback on right now, guys. Repping the Cowboys tomorrow. It's going to be a Des Bryant or a Tony Romo jersey. I'm not sure which I'm going to wear, but one of those two jerseys for sure. Uh, who's going to win that game? And then uh, the Broncos and the Colts game. I want to hear what you guys have to say about that one. My personal picks, I did pick the Patriots to win, and yes, I picked them prior to the game, and I also picked them during the game as well, despite the fact that they were down. Um, I, I'm very, very confident. I believe Tom Brady's the best quarterback of all time. I was excited to see them come back and win. Great game by Joel Flacco, by the way. No disrespect for him on that entire game. He played his heart out. Uh, he played good enough to win that game, but it just, he, it just didn't happen for him this week. Uh, Cowboys game, I am thinking that the Packers are going to win. I love my Cowboys, but uh, it's just the ride's got to stop at some point, right? This defense is not as good as they've played. They got exposed a little bit last week by the, the Lions in the first half. Uh, played much better in the second half, but still, I'm a little bit worried about it. Aaron Rodgers is going to be very difficult to stop. I do think the Broncos are going to handle the Colts. Uh, they've done a great job against Indianapolis before. Um, they've been a little bit weak lately. I got to be honest with you on that. Uh, Peyton Manning hasn't looked great, uh, but then I am also going to take the Seahawks over the Panthers. I think that one's probably the biggest given of the weekend, given the fact that the Seahawks have looked so great and the Panthers have struggled so much. Just, I mean, the Panthers have won games, but they're just, they're not winning them convincingly. Um, they're really struggling for the most part. So I am going to go Seahawks, Cowboys, went with the Patriots, and then I am, or not Cowboys, excuse me, Packers over the Cowboys, uh, Broncos over the Colts, and then obviously I took the Patriots over the Ravens. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, what do you think about these games? Did you enjoy the pack opening video? If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. And of course, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well so that you know when I put out a new video. Thank you guys so much. Talk to you guys again soon. And good luck for your teams this weekend. Thanks, guys.